Bolton and Rourke is an American brand that are doing things a little bit different than traditional perfumery. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how they are setting themselves apart from your typical fragrance bottle. What's up guys, my name is Daniel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at an American made fragrance brand called Fulton and Rourke. Just to let you guys know, these items were sent to me for review, but all opinions are my own. So let's go ahead and dive right into it, right? Right away, things are very different compared to your typical fragrance bottle. So as you can see, this is a solid cologne that comes in a metal casing. That has some nice heft to it. I am a sucker for things that have some nice weight to it. So I'm not too familiar with solid colognes. I have seen them advertised um, like in some other department stores but I am excited to see what this is all about. So let's go and check it out. So the cool thing about these fragrances is that each fragrance is inspired by a different destination that is here in the US. So the two fragrances that I have are going to be Palmetto, which is based, I believe, on the Palmetto Islands in Louisiana. And the second fragrance is going to be Matia, which is going to be inspired by a small island that is a part of Washington State's San Juan Islands. So let's go ahead and take a look at Palmetto. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the notes off their website. So it's gonna be top notes are pink pepper and grapefruit. In the mid, you're gonna get Mary, oh, magnolia flower and neroli. And the base, you're gonna get cedarwood and incense. Boom, moment of truth, let's go ahead and open it up. And it's open. So, so far, I'm already liking this presentation. So go ahead and check it out, it's gonna have F and R for Fulton and Rourke. And I have seen how these open, so let's go and try it out. So I believe they slide open like this. Is this way or that way? Oh, mm. oh yeah, I think that way. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so it just kind of just swings open just like this. Here, if I can kind of show you guys like that. That's really nice. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and see how it smells. So again, this is gonna be a solid fragrance. Again, I'm not too familiar with solid fragrances. Only the spray on kind that we're all used to. So that's why I'm doing this review to see how a solid fragrance is. Oh. Oh man, that's nice. And the cool thing about these two is that whenever you do run out of the fragrance, it will pop out and you are able to refill it. That's pretty nice. So I guess I just dip my fingers in here, right? It's kind of like, I guess, I don't know how much I use though. Let's just rub it here. Yeah. So far I'm really digging these, uh, these little metal jars or metal casings that the fragrance comes in. Dude, that's nice. That's super nice. See, so yeah, okay, I do get that, um, that pepperiness up top along with the grapefruit. So you do get a nice punch of grapefruit up top. The only thing, I don't really see these projecting that much. These are gonna be more of like, more used for like an intimate setting, I guess I would say. Gosh, that's so nice though, so for like a hot day. And the cool thing is, is like, yeah, it, yeah, it's going to be an an oil that you wrote, not an oil, but like, well, again, it's a solid fragrance that you rub on your skin, but it's not gonna be super duper like oily though. It kind of like gets absorbed into your skin really quick. I'm kind of picking up on that neroli a little bit, and that's coming through. But they, uh, that incense in there, is really giving us some depth. It's kind of, it 
kind of reminds me of, um, well, the incense of uh, Aqua de Jo's uh, Profumo. Now I'm not saying they smell exactly like, but it kind of has like the same vibe that the instance has in La Cordillera's Perfumo. It's nice. I really do like it. Yeah, <laughs> I won't get over that. These things are so freaking cool. And now we're going to be doing Mattia. I saved this one for last because the notes on this one were very, very intriguing to me. So let me go and read, uh, read the notes real quick. Da -da 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 -da. Mattia, all right, so top notes are gonna be cardamom and ginger blossom. Mid notes are gonna be carrot seed, saffron. I love some saffron. Geranium and violet. And in the base, we're gonna get patchouli, leather, and black amber. I don't know what black amber really is. I'm not sure if it's like one of those made up notes. But um, let's see. All right, so we're moving the skin. Boop, ooh. And again, I believe all of these are going to be these metal casings that will say F and R. And also in the back, I just noticed right now, it'll actually say what fragrance that you have in the back, if you can kind of see that. Oh, and then, ah, there you go, I love that. Oh, this one got a little warped right here. It's okay. Oh, ooh. That one is different. I've never smelled anything like that before. Oh, dang. Damn, that one's super nice too. That one's way better. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna use this hand to kind of rub it on real quick. Here we go. Just gonna put in this one. Sorry. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know how much you're supposed to get. I'm just kind of just rubbing it on. All right, cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I like that one uh, better than the first one. That, that palmetto is great too, but this one, damn, that one's really, really nice too. These are actually blended pretty nicely too. It's, it's kind of hard to pick out like each individual uh, note. Usually it's saffron to me when I smell it in fragrances, I kind of get like that that weird kind of plasticky type smell that you kind of get from like Baccarat Rouge or, or what's the other one? The Instant Crush from Mansara. But this one, I don't, I don't get that. Then also, if you don't want to fully commit to one of those little metal casings or one fragrance, they do have uh, sample packs that they offer and they will give you like these little 2 ml uh, um, kind of like, uh, sample sprays. So the one that I, uh, I ended up getting was called Gaia Ocho. So it has rum, tobacco, and sandalwood. I believe this one's based um, out of kind of like uh, Miami, that whole area. So I'm gonna spray it right here in this arm. I got, don't oh, got nothing right there, okay. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> Damn, that one's nice too. You know what this smells like right here? It smells like, kind of like a gingerbread house that's out in the middle of a forest. That's the kind of piece. You definitely get some super duper uh, uh, gingerbread kind of cookie nuances in this, uh, in this one. And then you get some, um, like some foresty like quality to it. I believe that's gonna be the tobacco, like the wet tobacco in it. Damn, that's fucking good, dude. Oh, excuse my language. They're doing good things over here at the Fulton Rock. They both still smell you know, pretty much the same. I don't think it's gonna be anything too, too complex. So whatever you kind of like get from the top of it, that's what's gonna be consistent throughout the entire longevity of the fragrance. But that Cayochelo, that thing is freaking nice. It's a total like gingerbread uh, house out in the middle of the forest. It puts a smile on my face when I smell it, so. Yeah. That palmetto, oh, that palmetto. The palmetto's gonna be super nice in the hot weather. Again, like this thing, like, I guess if you like kind of waft it off like this, you can kind of 
smell it. Not my tea though. It's almost like something like alluring, mysterious, mysteriously alluring. That <laughs> I like about it. Yeah, these are nice, man. Good job over here at Fulton and Rourke. Like how cool it is, you know, is that? So you can kind of just boop, throw in your pocket. I'm not sure how these will do in the high heat. So I will suggest you do not leave these in your car or your gym bag um, if it's left out in the sun, because I'm pretty sure that they will melt. I mean, I could be wrong, I don't know. So if you get one of these and leave it in your car, it's all on you. Well guys, there you have it. That's gonna be Fulton and Rourke. Um, they're doing some solid things. Solid fragrances, right? Definitely. <laughs> no pun intended. But if you're in the market for something a little bit different, um, other than just, you know, just spray on clones, you know, I suggest you know, give them a try. I'm gonna leave a link to their website down in the, down in the description. Guys, thank you for joining me in another video. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys soon. Till next time.